So Tim is going to show me what we've came for. What do you what do you guys think I got here? Put in the old comments down there what uh, what it is you think I bought. Well, another beautiful day here in Havasu. Jimmy's getting ready to leave. Where are you going, Jimmy? Misery. Misery? Or Missouri. <laughs> no, you're going to Ohio. So this is the logistics for my uh, my trip. Oh yeah. The beginning of my <laughs> my car adventure. So Jimmy decided he's driving out to see his dad. And then he's flying back to meet me and Paul and the crew and then we're going down the river then his dad's picking us up and then we're going back to ohio so then after that he is like going off to visit his brother and i don't know like he's got a trailer hitch i'm guessing he's bringing something home so <laughs> <laughs> yeah we're gonna load up some junk safe Jimmy will do see you in Ohio okay it's a new day I feel like uh, I hibernated last night so as you can see I'm not in the shop today I'm not even in Arizona it's never this green there I'm actually in Ohio so I got Jimmy here and Jimmy senior this is Jimmy's dad everybody say hi to the, the world Jimmy senior hello world <laughs> So, I'm actually at his house. Um, I rode up here with Jimmy. So when we went to go on the jet ski run, Jimmy drove out to visit his dad. His brother's coming into town. He was thinking about going to Florida. He's kind of on vacation. So I actually, it worked out really good because I sent a bunch of things with him to help make this trip painless. But uh, we're gonna drive about 15 minutes up the road and I'm going to show you guys what I bought and if we can make it run good enough I'm going to drive it all the way back to Lake Havasu City. So follow along today on our adventure as we're uh, running around Lebanon, Ohio. I, I want to call it Lebanon. <laughs> Lebanon! <laughs> so yeah let's get started with some Skyline Chili. What do you say Jimmy? Yes absolutely. Sky absolutely. Well we're going to Jimmy's favorite Skyline Chili. We've arrived. We're here. And so they're good. open. Look at that smile. That's right. You can see Jimmy smile like that since we left for uh, the <laughs> sandbar Wednesday. What you got for you? I got two cheese conies. What's that? Extra cheese. Never enough. What you got seen here? It's a small three-way. 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 <laughs> three-way. <laughs> okay, explain this three-way. Chili, spaghetti, cheese. I got three ponies with cheese. We'll give this Skyline Chili a go. One way three times. <laughs> One way three times. Chili was so good, Jimmy bought like two cases of it. Yep. So we're going to make us some Skyline Chili Dogs in Arizona because Wiener Schnitzel quit serving Pepsi and I'm boycotting Wiener Schnitzel. Oh, they screwed up so bad by putting that nasty Coke machine in there. Anyway, we're on to uh, auto parts store to pick up a six volt battery. Um, oh, there's a clue on what I bought, six volt battery. And then we'll go see this car. We're in the right place. We've arrived. Are you guys sore? Tim Miller. How you doing? Nice buddy? to meet you, buddy. Yeah. Finally. Yeah. How you doing? Dude, I'm doing good. How about you? <laughs> good. How's your legs feeling? Hey, that's a nice shirt you got going yeah, I'm on. Dressed here. up. So this is Tim Miller. This is the first time we've officially met. Yeah. We've been friends on Facebook for a coon's age, it seems yeah. like. Yeah. All because of this right here. When I saw this thing, I was like, oh yeah, that's I, I could be friends with that guy right there. That's uh, 
That's a pretty cool truck. How long you had that thing? About 16 years. About 16 years. Yeah, so it's been everything. It was just a uh, eight foot bed K20. Okay. So it's had seven inch lift, eight inch lift, ten inch lift, twelve inch lift. It's twelve inch lift now. Dude, this is a nice spread right here. Yeah. It is. Thank you. This, this is pretty cool. Thank you. Like we circle around the trailer park and around the pond and like. Here comes my. Uh, Jimmy. Jimmy's looking at that pond, going, "We need a jet ski." Yeah. Here yeah. comes my girlfriend Jennifer. She's the other half of. Like, nice. Peace so, and Grease, so Tim has a YouTube channel. This yeah. is what Peace and Grease. Peace and Grease. Peace dash in dash Grease. Nice. Yeah, just so, getting started, but been wrenching for a long time. You'll have to look that up. He's built some pretty cool trucks, and I'll show you. I'll show one of you one of his cool trucks, but basically him and his wife go out and they do you know some antique digging and like he knows where the stuff's at, so like you got to see this stuff. Yeah, so I'm an electrician, so I own my own business, so I've been in a lot of garages. Yeah, so he he gets to see the other side. Honestly, that's how my cousin Paul kind of did it for a long time because he was in the utility business. Yeah. Yeah, you get it, but none of them are for sale. Yeah, you know. Yeah, well, you you just got to become. Hey, don't be shy. Get on over here. This is. <laughs> this I don't want to interrupt. How are you? Good. How are you? It's so nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. I'm Jennifer. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, this Jennifer is Merlin. Sammy. Sammy, come say hello to Merlin. How are you, young man? I like that haircut. Just woke up. Yeah, I had to wake him up. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So what do we got going on here? Is this LS swap? Yeah. I've been looking at and reading about. Yeah, so I've always just been small block, big block, Cummins, you know. So I'm trying to figure this out. So we're at that point. Yeah, this is uh, this is a different language. Yeah. So it's got Holly Terminator X. I try. I'm, yeah. So I built the truck as to kind of be the test bed. It's got 14 bolt, 456 spool, 4L80. Well, this right here, this will test you. Yeah. yeah. This will test everything about you. Yeah. Yeah, check this truck out. So, so this is straight what, what, are you, what have you been, about a year on this thing now? No, no. Well, I bought it in October, and I bought the chassis off my friend, uh, Chip Young. That was the 2500 Dodge, right? It was a 3500 Dually, okay. four-wheel drive, um, 12 valve, you know, the typical 300,000 mile donor. And uh, I, I kept getting on Marketplace in this truck, this green one. Dang old Marketplace. There thousand you go again. Dollar. Every time I look <laughs> on there, it said 427, running, driving, thousand dollars. So me and her, we loaded up the trailer and went all the way. The weird thing is we went to where we just was at at the Freedom Met, and we went over to Indiana. And before I could get the ramps down on the trailer, this guy, I don't know his name, but he had a Suburban on a Duramax frame. And he knew his stuff. And before I could get the ramps down, he had this thing running and it would just idle. And it drove up on the trailer, thousand bucks. So wow. Oh, that, that was the deal. Stick uh, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Truck. It's motors laying over there. We fired it up the other day, spraying ether in it. But so I got this outdoor lift for kind of doing stuff like this. Directly inspired from watching Welder Up, learning who you are. I've all you know, I like the old stuff. I, I don't like new paint. Like some guy went and bought this in 1969. That had to be the greatest day of his life, you know. You know right? what? He probably spent every dollar he had that year for this truck because yeah. it had to work. Running circles around his neighbors, probably Seriously. still driving in the old, you know, straight Seriously. sixes. So Tim is going to show me what we've came for. What do you what do you guys think I got here? Put in the old comments down there what uh what it is you think I bought. Volkswagen. And by the way, I uh well, what was the last time it run? So what year is it? 23. I had it running probably 21. Wait, anyway, I'm going to get this thing running with Tim's help. And uh there's going to be a heck of a story on this. And I'm going to let him tell it, but you're going to have to go to Peace and Grease and watch it on their channel. Um, pretty cool pretty cool story about the old car. And uh, he'll tell you a little bit about, about his place here and what he does. But uh, I definitely need you to go check that out. But let's look at this right now. So the, the, the deal is, I'm going to get this running. I've got like two days to kind of go through it and lube it up and get it ready. And then I pick my wife Desiree up. Destroyed. So 
we're going to Indianapolis yep. and pick up Desiree. So we're heading to Mitchell, Indiana. We're going to check out Corey and Hannah Wheat and some of the uh, junk they build. And, yeah, it's pretty cool. He's it's got some neat stuff. It's kind of like Tim's junk here. It's pretty pretty awesome. But here here we go. Let's let's get a look at this car Drum and roll. see what we got going. Oh, that is there. <laughs> Wait, this is it? Wow, look at this thing. 31 Model A. Yeah. Starting in on the Model A, we got a battery in it. Doesn't seem to want to turn over. I don't know what's going on here, but we uh, we have connection everywhere. I'm going to check through with a test light. Tim got me a test light program here. First, we got to make sure this battery's even got anything in it. I guess we might have got a dead battery from the auto parts. Okay, I think I know what's wrong partially, so we're gonna. We're gonna clean this up. Um, these cables, these cables are brutal. We gotta take these things off. I'm pretty sure we gotta clean them underneath here. Got we got a connection problem. Okay, so we got no start crank action. So we're gonna pull this thing here apart and uh, see what's going on here. Something in there's not making connection. So we got the carburetor on, we got fuel line hooked up. Jimmy's gonna dump some fuel in here. And then, uh, I don't know, we'll see where that takes us. And then we'll work on the ignition system. We got the starter cranking over. That was just a dirty little solenoid. And then Tim, he was looking through a thing here and found some more parts. This was probably Grandpa's little private Model A stash, which is cool. It's got a lot of good little parts in it we can use. And uh, yeah, this solenoid was what we were having troubles with. So it's good to have one of those for the road trip. And uh, yeah, he found some screws, which I'm missing a couple on the dash here, so that'll be good. And uh, yeah, let me see if that gas gauge comes up. I don't, I don't see if gas stays in the tank. Yeah, we'll, we'll dump all that in and then uh, put that back in your dad's truck and we'll fill it up later to put in that can for the highway. That's gonna be my emergency fuel. I figured on the way back, I'm uh, gonna have pretty uh, long stretches between fuel stations on these back roads. So that seven gallons may be uh, a lifesaver somewhere in Nebraska. Is that all, how much does that hold? Seven, I can get, That's well, the 11 in the main tank and then seven in that can. That should give me over 300 miles yeah. with good luck, so yeah. Okay, it's uh, turning into afternoon here and beautiful, uh, this is Waynesville? Waynesville. Waynesville. Wayne Township. I saw a sign that said Wayne Township. Anyway, we've horsed around with a carburetor and a distributor for way too long. Um, but Jimmy's going to man the uh, things here and we'll see if we can get her to light up. So we'll put you all right there. Let's uh, key on. Key on. Yeah, give her hell. <laughs>
I'm gonna find me a new home. Well, Dale, I'm uh, if I go to that motor now. Yeah, he'll be living in this truck. At least he can stay here on the farm. So we got one of those off right here. We're gonna take that apart while we're here and get the job. He's got welders and stuff, and we can get that leak tightened up. And then, uh, I don't know, we'll put a floorboard in this, and uh, Tim's gonna go show me around the farm here in the Model A. All righty, so Jimmy here, he uh, just worked this clamp over. We had to weld it up, it was kind of wallered out. We're gonna see if it leaks, but we're adjusting the brakes right now. Get you underneath here. But uh, we're even using an original wrench here. Give this thing a click or two. These up and tight, so we got good uh, good brakes on the road. I think that's about as tight as that's gonna go. And then uh, just this one. Jimmy, yeah. you want to step on the brake? You bet. See if we're grabbing. Yes, See if we're grabbing a little here. Okay, let off. Let off. Does it snap back better? It does. Okay. Wow, step nice down job. on it again. Okay. Let me uh, pull it all the way back. Let me do the rears. So a lot of times that's why these Model A's don't stop is because the brakes aren't adjusted properly. The pedal was sticking to the floor on this thing because most of your spring action is in the return of all of the uh, wheels. If it doesn't have enough pressure to return, it isn't going to return. So we'll adjust the rears and uh, we're about ready for a test drive. Okay, so we got the exhaust out of this thing. The flange deal didn't work very good. We're going we're gonna to bend on this a little bit and uh, got some RTB. We're gonna see if we can get it to seal up and uh, we'll get the hood back on. We got a really nasty storm coming. So there's been warnings, the wind's kicked up. Tim has uh, gone up to the house probably to have some dinner or something. We're not having dinner yet. Frisch's is open till 10, so we're waiting for a Frisch's burger. But uh, yeah, we're ready for a little storm action. Haven't seen rain in a day or two. All right, so we got the car running. Tim's gonna uh, crank it up for us here and then he's gonna take us and give us a tour of the property here, so. This car's never been hand started till today that I ever have seen. He did it. And it looked easy, so now the pressure's <laughs> on. Okay, it's all you. Alright, show us how tough you are, 1930. We gotta go to town, Paul! <laughs> yeah, exactly. First try. First try. You're like a pro. First and only you're try. Like a pro. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go tour the acreage here. So now what you wanna do, that lever on the left. Did you find the other pin? I got a bolt. Alright. Stole bolt out of your bolt box. So lever on the left, pull it down about halfway. I already did, I already did. Oh you already did? Okay, okay. we're good. I drove a lot, but it probably never ran this good. Okay. Uh-oh. Get in here, old girl. So, got 25 acre campground. This was my grandpa's dream. It's been, oh, it's been upgraded and redone a lot. What kind of gears do these have in them? They're pretty low. <laughs> Five? 373s. So but first, the engine only turns 2,000 RPM. Yeah, max, <laughs> yeah. I grew up shooting clay birds for money. Out here, we would have little uh, money shoots, junk shoots, they call them. You call them clay birds, we call them clay pigeons. Yep. This is a little house here. I sell a lot of clay birds in that baby. But now it's just a, mainly that's our big range and back here. People come here. We just built this road. The last time this car was built road was probably the trip with my grandma around around here. This same route. Yeah. We 
your grandma? Yeah, probably uh, 2014. I drove it when I got it back around here, but so I guess it's been drove since then. Oh, that's so cool. I'd say hopefully not, but I'm I'm not. I'm, mild, I'm, I'm anticipating that wiper's going to be necessary. Got a mild sticky on it. Yeah. So what? Your name's Merlin, and his name was Merle. Merle. Yeah. It worked yeah. out. So this is old Merle. Old Come Merle. on, old Merle. <laughs> Merle Lunette. Let's 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 truck it on back to Arizona. My buddies used to trip. I'd show up to their house, and then we'd go cruise around. Oh yeah. Around. No, it's a cool old car. <laughs> it's definitely a cool old car. It. Uh, it's got a lot of character and uh, it's going to be so fun to drive this across the country. Well, that was pretty cool. How'd that feel? That feels good. Drive the old Model A. Yeah, I was nervous. Look at that smile on his yeah. face. So the, the Model, the model A's, if they don't do that to you, <laughs> like you just, you ain't yeah. right. Yeah. Like you ain't right. Yeah. So cool to cruise around on your grandpa's property and his damn near 100 year old car. Yeah. yeah. And honestly, to see those pictures, to see the pictures of this car in the 60s with all those boys, you know, I'd love to find one of those boys today. Oh, right. And you know what? Right. We may find them for that yeah, car. I've been class of 73 in Waynesville. So uh, my grandpa, everyone knew him from that. Right. You know what I mean? Everyone, life got in my way and I didn't get to enjoy it. This is going to be the best thing for it. Well, it's going to be uh, well documented and... Uh, it's gonna it's gonna take me a few days it's gonna it's gonna make some interesting content and uh you know i already know it'll make it it's just how how long will it take me to get there um we're gonna spend basically another day and a half just lubing everything up we'll get it polished up and uh i don't know but right now it's time to go get a frisch's hamburger and call this good so appreciate it man good day it's been a great day i uh I'm excited that you're going to chase us down to uh, Corey Wheats because yep. that makes me feel better about if something comes unglued, you can get me off the highway we so I don't get run over. on the bed. Yeah, that's true. We could just load it. Yep. We're going to give it the first 14 miles it's had in probably um, cause probably 2016. So yeah, that's uh, that's a day or two. What was the date on the other battery? Uh, For the older one. I, I didn't see one on the older one. Yeah, they might not have had yeah, one. Yeah, I, I don't think it had a date. But so, that battery at the screwing tops, you haven't been able to get those for at least six years. So I was having, you know, 2021 was that other battery. And that's when you were trying to get and it, it going again? It was just spitting and sputtering. So that cool. distributor was... Yeah, it was shorted out. Yeah. It wouldn't surprise me if somebody didn't work on it in between there. You yeah. Know? So it sparked every once in a while. They may have had the same problems and shelved it, you know. All right. But you're the man. Well... We'll catch you guys uh, in a little bit. Yeah, if you guys need anything, holler and I'll okay. get in touch with you. Appreciate it. I gotta get the horn working. Well, she runs pretty good. up on this slab tomorrow and put the tires on it and then deal with a couple more little things and uh, 
I don't know. There's a bunch of things I want to touch and I'll show you what we're doing tomorrow. So see you tomorrow. Well, I don't know what time it is, but it's early. Jimmy, he's already cleaning up. Um, we're gonna pull that back seat out and see if maybe there's a little critter living under there. We're gonna we're gonna do some things. It's got a really bad exhaust leak that we're still dealing with. Didn't even didn't even really slow it down, so we're gonna pull that back off and see if we can fix it. Um, it actually sounds like it's got a little bit of a rod knock, so I think when we change the oil, we're gonna pull the oil pan on it, and uh, we have, we got to go through. I think I got to put a couple tubes in. I aired them up yesterday to 30 pounds and they're down to, I don't know, 26, 27 on a couple, but one's down to 15. So I'm gonna fix that because they're, these tires are from like a 33 or 34 Ford. So I wanna, I wanna take them off. I'm not, uh, I'm not running them. I'll show you these tires are actually a lot taller. And uh, for the gearing, I think it'll make a big difference plus I like the look of the original wheel but uh, those are a lot taller give me better gear ratio they're actually the right wheel for the car so we'll get them figured out and then I gotta make a little floor mat and we're just gonna go through everything on the car and uh, inspect it gotta check all the oils uh, the brakes seem to work really good. Lights work. I'd like to fix the horn. Um, other than that, I think the car is pretty much road ready. I think it'll make the trip. I think it'd make the trip right now, honestly. There's just a few things I want to tune up and make a little better. So what do you say, Jimmy? Let's do it. You're not looking like a morning person. In fact, after that river run, you're looking like a dried out rat. A prune, yeah, right? Yeah, you're just like, <laughs> you're a rat that's laying on the yes, beach just waiting yes. for somebody to drop a grape. <laughs> <laughs> right on. All right, so we're going to get tearing her apart. Well, we're just about to attempt to pull the head on this thing. See how uh, tough this one's going to be. It's pretty corroded on them front studs, so I'm a little bit worried about that. But I did get this little puller program here, which is going to help. Did you find some WD-40 or anything? Um, TV blaster. So Jimmy's got that all stripped down. I'm working on the generator. I get that off, and because uh, it's not working. And then we're going to pull the oil pan later today and probably pull some shims out of the rods and mains take a look at those and then uh, change the oil what else we got to do and then I'm going to look inside the transmission makes a little funny noise out of there too and I did get an extra transmission with the car so we're also going to dive into them wheel bearings but uh, for now it's cylinder head time You a shade tree mechanic? I guess I am today. Today we are. <laughs> okay. We don't have trees like this in Arizona, so right? uh, it's kind of nice to be shade tree mechanic. And, but anyway, Jimmy Sr. hollered and he said breakfast is ready, so we're done for right now. We're going to check in. So sure. Jim Sr. and Barbara live in this uh, cabin up here, and uh, it's pretty cool. We'll show you later. Barb, she's got a hell of an antique collection in her kitchen, so we'll share that with you in a little while. Well, we finished up with breakfast. This is Jim Sr. That's me. So we're at, we're at his place down here in the woods. And uh, we, uh, we're we all fat and happy after breakfast now, so we can't, we can't done, do anything yet. <laughs> we did get the oil pan off, so I'm gonna get underneath here. Jimmy got the exhaust out. We're gonna fix that flange. Gotta have that leak fixed. We've been fighting that since yesterday. But let's take a look at the bottom of this motor. And uh, she looks pretty good for the most part. Definitely has new babbits in it. Got some shim in them there uh, rods. I don't see any that are chipped. I didn't look in the oil pan to see if there was any pieces, but uh, this motor's uh, supposedly been rebabbited and rebuilt. And they look pretty good. I'll get under here and wiggle good and hard on it. 
and test everything but yeah the rear main is not leaking and usually that's a sign that the the babbits are bad but the oil definitely definitely was really bad in it so we're gonna get the oil changed and uh, we'll get uh, get them babbits checked out and then silicone our oil pan back up and put it back on and uh, we got the cylinder head off so this cylinder head came off fairly easy of course it had been off in the last 50 years <laughs> we think yeah. but uh, I got that cylinder head that uh, Scott Stapley got for me when I did his high compression head on his car he uh, he bought two because they were basically back ordered and he found a company that had two of them in stock so he bought them both so thank you Scott for getting that cylinder head for me but uh, same thing low compression combustion chamber high compression combustion chamber now this thing ran pretty good so I figured something had been done to it um, basically they shaved a hundred thousandths off this head and took this ridge out of here so they did raise the compression a little bit but this is going to raise it a lot of bit and uh, we like a lot of bit better huh, Jimmy? <laughs> that's right little nervous about the two blade fan this is the old style that has the uh, the little thing that can separate but uh, it, it doesn't have any cracks in it so we're going to take a chance on it and run it and uh, the generator we would give up on it I have a six volt positive ground alternator so we'll get that uh, swapped in we did find a problem on the transmission so we're gonna look at that I hope we don't have to put a transmission in it but it came with one, we have one. but the transmission has zero oil in it not even a drop so I'm going to uh, take a good look at that Jimmy's gonna pull the top off later and we may put the top off the other transmission just because it has a chrome shift lever chrome. that's right chrome Chrome will get you home. Chrome will get you home, right? <laughs> Chrome don't get you home, but Chrome will make it go faster. That's right. So we'll, we're going to go to the auto parts store, and we'll be back on it shortly. So we're going to run for parts. We put the hood back on the car, and I was just looking at all my junk here, and uh, I don't know how I'm going to get all this in the car, but I knew I wanted a little box for the back, so I sent Jim Sr. Uh, Kind of a diagram of a box that i was dreaming of basically like the original old trunk because you can't ever find the trunks but uh he made up a box for me and he's still kind of working on it so let's go take a look at it where are you hiding this thing at jim oh, I'm, I'm my junk down pile. here in the woodshed in the, yeah there you are Ooh, look at that that's pretty nice that's gonna work good so this is gonna be my box so this will be the back side. This hopefully tapers along with the edge of the car. Oh, you got a lid there. Yeah. So, Look at that. Yeah, we just need to put a, uh, a uh, some kind of hinge or something. A hinge, but also we need to put a piece of wood through here so this thing doesn't. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't warp. Let's uh, set it on the car and see what it looks like. Cause yeah, it can just kind of clamp to this bumper. So my thought was this thing's you know they make a bracket for all this, but. You know, I'm not a bracket kind of guy. I'm a little more simple, but yeah, if we, uh, that's pretty good. So yeah, if we, uh, and, and we can tilt it more. I don't, I don't mind if it, yeah. if it tilts back like that. Honestly, that's a even better, yeah. honestly. So I guess we can make some kind of just a couple little spacers or something. Yeah. Oh, you got plenty of wood that we can and then uh, there. <clears throat> there's a couple options I was thinking maybe drill a couple holes in here yeah we can go around that with a hose clamp I brought some long hose clamps and then on the back I mean even just putting a bracket underneath with a couple of screws like a little piece of what plumber's tape or something I don't think it's gonna take much to hold it on but maybe even if you cut that wood to where that it kind of locks into that tubing piece yeah. and we screw it down I, okay. I'm not too worried about it but it can tilt however you want but yeah obviously if it's tilted back just a little bit more because then I'll, I'll put my gas can and yeah. I obviously just almost everything will fit in there but yeah that's perfect 
Yeah, that looks really good. That's just what I needed for the back of this thing to hold all my stuff. So I got a running board mount to put some things on too, but I wanted to keep as much room inside the car as possible. Looks like I got a harness nest back there. Mud daubers, what are, what are those you get here? Mud daubers is a big little... Uh, is that yeah. what that is? Yeah. Yeah. We want to get him out of there, and then I'm gonna pull back seat out here real quick and see if that mouse was living under there. Where is he? Where are you going, there, little guy? We started up that little mouse come running out. But uh, yeah, I wanted to keep as much room inside the car for like the cooler and just make it more comfortable. But yeah, we'll get that box mounted on. He's gonna work on that while we go to the auto parts store, and then uh, we'll show you what we got coming. We're up. here at Big Al's muffler. We're gonna take this muffler in and see if we can uh, get this flare put on here. So, it's heavy, Jimmy. I don't know if you can handle it. So we're here with Cody at Big Al's Muffler Service. Big Al's gone today, so we're, uh, Co that. Cody's showing us how to run this here uh, huff machine. He's got a flare on here that looks a lot better, but we're gonna have him make another pipe anyway, just in case we decide to replace that. For Justin, that's Justin. right. For Justin, just in well, case. So if he makes that pipe, we yep. know that'll fit. That's right. If, if we, we don't, don't make it, that pipe, yep, that we're coming back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so a little more than 90, like 95? Yeah, we'll pro probably uh, for sure. Yeah, well, go, uh, go straight. Because I, uh, we got a lot of adjustments. This thing just hangs under the car. It goes under the differential. The only yeah. car in the world, the exhaust goes under the differential. But uh, honestly, that's pretty good. It's pretty close. Yeah, and we'll just leave that other deal on there. I'll cut it when okay. I cut it how you need we'll, to. We'll adjust it. So okay. that'll work. Cool. Right on. There man. you are, sir. Appreciate it, Cody. No problem. Skyline chili for lunch. Yes, uh -huh. it was good. Um, so yeah, we're uh, ready to put this cylinder head on. Low compression, high compression coming up. So. If you can work on them studs, we gotta get yeah, the water pump ones cleaned up, wire wheeling. And uh, try to get this one out. You might have to ping on it a little. And I'll uh, get some head nuts going on here. sits in there. Jimmy's got a stuck stud. Where's your uh, vice probably won't bite it. I think it moved, huh? Felt like it did, but then no. So we'll 
salvage that stud and get it back in the block. And uh, slip a water pump back in there and tighten it up. What else we gotta do? Got the oil pan back on, ready to dump oil in it. And uh, we'll fire it up here in a little bit. A little update, we're uh, redoing a coil wire here. Not sure this is some of my ignition problem, but Jimmy sure seemed to think that it was. Because it's the only thing we haven't really messed with from this point. And uh, Jim Sr., he's working on the box. He's almost got that ready to mount. Go in here and see what Jimmy's doing. I've never done this in all my life. Yeah. Jimmy, what are you doing? <laughs> Something you, I've never done in 35 years of mechanicking. What, change a tire? No, I'm steel brushing a rim for an inner tube. <laughs> never done it. Never done that, <laughs> huh? Nope. Well, I guess there's a first time for everything, huh? Yeah, it's a little, it's a little corn cob in there. Yeah, they, uh, they get a little ruffled. So I have some bicycle rubber straps that could go in the bottom groove, but... Okay. Looks like it's just as rough all the way around, so yep. we're just about ready to fire this thing up. If it'll start. Maybe no spark again. Shooting spark across the parking lot. Wonder why she's not running. Something's wrong. Okay. It's, something's wrong. It's either out of time or something. Something is very, very wrong. I uh I don't know if we're just not on top dead cylinder number one or what we got going on, but we are something very wrong because it should just fire right up. I mean, they should just bump and they're running and it's, yeah. it's got fuel running out the carburetor. So I'm going to have to crank it over and go through the timing sequence again and see if I screwed it up somewhere. I had the... Uh, I had the engine on top bed center, but maybe I didn't. Maybe I was 180 out or something. So we're gonna go through timing again and then come back and see if we can get her to run.